the same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom. In 2024, Shannon Sharpa will become a prominent figure who has captured the attention of the sports and entertainment industries. His discussion with comedian Cat Williams went viral, putting his name front and center, particularly in the podcasting and interview circuits. In addition to increasing his fame, this specific episode paved the way for many high-profile guest appearances on his show, where celebrities relate their fascinating life tales. Hi there, and welcome back to Relax Brew. Shannon has faced difficulties along the way, especially after his sit-down with Cat Williams, despite his accomplishments. During an open discussion with Cam Newton, Shannon considered the conflicting results following that memorable interview. Cat had warned him that the disclosure of confidential industry information could lead to a reaction. As it happened, Shannon started to personally witness this. He was disappointed to learn that some of the guests who had previously committed to appear on his show were now canceling at the last minute. Shannon said that she wasn't entirely ready for what would happen. I had no idea that would cause so much controversy. Though it definitely led me in an unexpected direction, I'm delighted it did, he said. Shannon didn't realize the full ramifications when Kat told him, they're going to come after you, alerting him to the impending obstacles. He felt that, since he had not personally offended anyone, his integrity was untarnished. The truth, though, was different as prospective guests started to steer clear of his platform. For Shannon, the incident turned into an important teaching moment. A few of the individuals I was thrilled to highlight are now withdrawing. He clarified they show excitement at first, but then they abruptly stop being available, and communication stops. In addition to these personal struggles, Shannon became embroiled in a fresh dispute involving Steve Harvey, the subject of much recent media attention. A new level of trauma has been added to Shannon's already exciting year by this conflict. Shannon and Steve Harvey had a memorable exchange on Shannon's show, Club Shay Shay, prior to the drama involving Cat Williams. This interview ended up being one of Shannon's most watched, with an estimated 8 million people watching. Steve Harvey disclosed to them during their talk about his previous hardships, which included a time when he was homeless. He talked about living out of his truck and how this difficult period strengthened his will to be successful in the comedy industry. Steve's tale demonstrated not only resiliency and perseverance, but also resilience in the face of adversity. He descended into his darkest hours, doubting his decisions and thinking of giving up. There were times when I would sit in my van, parked in the posh hotel lots, simply to smuggle myself into their restrooms to take a shower. Steve recalled, I used to take linen baskets, fill them with hot water, add soap, and that was my makeshift shower. Steve had an unpleasant experience in Pensacola, Florida, during a particularly trying time. He was trapped in a swarm of convention goers in the hotel toilet and couldn't get out since he was covered with soap. Steve revealed the depths of his desperation, saying, I was stuck there, soap drying on my skin, contemplating my entire life and whether it was time to give up and go home. However, these encounters influenced his outlook on life, his methodology, and his professional path. Along with his observations from the Kings of Comedy tour, Steve also talked about the relationships between the comedians and how the tour advanced their careers. Notwithstanding the difficulties such as a terrible opening performance with just 30 minutes to go the tour ultimately solidified their reputations in the comedy world. Steve's insights throughout Shannon's interview offered a compelling glimpse into the challenges and achievements of a stand-up comedian. It was an engaging watch because of his candor and Shannon's insightful questioning, which struck a deep chord with viewers and emphasized the value of perseverance in the face of difficulty. Shannon Shannon is still a prominent player in the world of celebrity interviews as he works through the challenges of his job, which are shaped by his interviews as well as the drama that is developing with other celebrities. Along with his own experiences with controversy and criticism, he is able to elicit powerful anecdotes from his guests, 
which keeps his audience interested and anticipating what he will bring up next. A group of black guys perched precariously on a thin sheet of plywood, their only shield from the ice below, during a cold evening performance. The audience shifted restlessly in the chilly atmosphere when the announcement was made. We're going to take a 45-minute interval. What isn't right? Were you offended by anything? The audience mused during Bernie's long and somewhat out-of-place interlude. The atmosphere had changed by the time I entered the stage. With no prior knowledge of the gags from my upcoming special, the audience cheered as soon as I started. I had no idea that my stuff was new to them, so it added an unanticipated level of excitement to the performance. Punchline debuted a brand new routine during the performance. I recall asking myself, why such a reaction? That's when I realized they hadn't read the material, I hadn't received the news yet, and my special had just ended. But from then on, the night turned sour. My performance worsened, and I felt discouraged despite my early enthusiasm. It was the start of a roller coaster evening that, despite appearances, was anything but flawless. All of this occurred prior to Cat Williams' contentious interview, which would further agitate the situation. During her chat with Steve Harvey, Cat did not hold back, adding gasoline to an already raging fire. Everyone was on edge, particularly since Kat had dared to raise concerns about prominent people like Shannon Sharpie. Steve was personally impacted by the accusations of dishonesty made against Shannon and other interviewees. The two primary themes from Steve's story, which he had revealed in his interview, came into focus. Kat examined his accounts of conquering homelessness and his thoughts on the kings of comedy closely, doubting their veracity. Steve Harvey and Shannon Sharp's conflict intensified. Steve looked to be the center of attention in the industry, having played a sitcom character famous for his unique attire and high-top hairdo. His presence cast a shadow over other black performers, a feeling exacerbated by Kat's accusations. I used to wonder all the time, why am I not a movie star? However, Hollywood was a challenging reality 30,000 new screenplays are written every year, but none of them seem to call for a black man who was a country bumpkin and didn't match the polished Hollywood stereotype. In spite of this, I've portrayed a range of characters in more than 60 movies, never once playing Cat Williams, always presenting distinct sides of myself. The accounts of Steve's previous homelessness were also questioned. Although he publicly recounted these stories, Mark Curry later disclosed that, in contrast to the apparent financial hardships, he was earning a significant amount of money when they were on tours together. Our discussions frequently return to the fundamentals of comedy and legacy. Do you consider yourself to be the comic king? From where are you? Deeper tensions were alluded to by these queries, particularly with regard to Bernie's legacy and the dynamics among the kings of comedy. When Bernie left, I was asked to become one of the kings, but I turned it down because I knew the real story beneath the outward appearances and the inner turmoil. Knowing the pretenses about who was funnier or more worthy of the last spot on tour, I would think, I'm the next king, so I'll let you have your say on Bernie before you come for me. Yes, it was Steve's tour, and according to convention, he ought to have ended the performances. Still, he was frequently eclipsed by other comedians, keeping him from closing the show, which led to even more discussion and arguments. Everyone found themselves in a challenging situation as a result of the rift between Steve and Shannon and the damaging information revealed by Cat Williams during the interview. After Shannon made these revelations known to the public on his podcast, there was a larger conversation about them and attempts to boycott Club Shay and other similar establishments by several celebrities, including Steve. This debate has rekindled old rivalries and spawned new ones, demonstrating how a single interview has the power to drastically alter the world of celebrities. We're left wondering, as we dig deeper into these celebrity disputes, will Shannon Sharpie be able to weather this storm? Does Steve Harvey's version of events have merit, or is Cat Williams telling the truth?
We look forward to hearing your opinions on this complex web of celebrity dramas. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.